Hi, Phyllis again. We're going to make chicken salad today for lunch, and I'm going to show you how to make it, and we're going to record the whole thing from beginning to end so you can see that it takes very little time. The ingredients are going to be great value chunk breast chicken, and uh, I got this on sale at Walmart for $1.88, and it's 10 ounces, and it's going to end up making four sandwiches. One Granny Smith apple, sweet relish, and of course mayonnaise and our loaf bread and our lettuce. Now the first thing I'm going to do is peel this apple and I want to show you how to cut up this apple to go in the chicken salad. I'm going to just peel it real quick. Now we're at the bottom of the barrel on our apples. In fact, I think that we've only got about three left. I buy them by the bushel at our local farmer's market. All right. Now I'm going to cut up the apple very small right into my bowl. I'm just going to do like this. Then I'm going to do it like this. I learned how to do this from my great-grandmother because she didn't have any teeth and she had an apple orchard and she still liked to eat apples so that's the way she cut it up and then I guess she just gummed it. I don't know but anyway, it makes the pieces very little. went on the floor and the dog's getting ready to eat it so but it's okay because apples are good for them I guess just cut that one up a little bit all right now to these apples I'm going to add the tablespoon of sweet relish and this is, of course has got vinegar in it so that means that it's going to coat my apples and it will prevent them from turning brown so that we'll be able to have this chicken salad tomorrow night also. Okay, just coat the apples as best you can with that little mixture. All right, now I'm gonna open up the um, chicken breast and I'm gonna use my trusty can opener that my husband got for me. It works really well. What it does is separates the can right there where it's kind of glued and that way you don't get any juice from the can on your can opener so you really never have to wash it. You just go all around until you hear it go loose. Then you've got a little hook right there. You just put it on the can and lift it right up. Wasn't that nice? All right, now we're going to just simply drain this juice. And there's my chicken. Very nice. I'm just going to break that up a little bit. And by the way, this chicken smells really nice as soon as you open the can. It really does. All right, I'm going to use, I'll start out with about a heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise and just mix that all in and kind of mash that chicken with the back of your spoon. Mix it all in, mashing it with your spoon as you go. Okay, we're going to put just a little bit more mayonnaise, so that would probably be really about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Now I'm not going to put any salt because we've got the relish in there which has vinegar in it and salt, of course, and uh, I'm sure the canned chicken has some salt in it. Let's see if it does. Yes, it does. It's got sea salt, so we really don't need any more salt at all. All right, that's mixed up enough now. Now, and we're going to go ahead and make these sandwiches, and I'm going to be using... Sara Lee Honey Wheat Bread, 
which I got on sale at Bilo. It was buy one, get one free, plus I had two coupons. So we really do like this uh, type of bread too. Take my trusty clothespin off and the bread is frozen, but by the time I put it on the plate, and make the sandwiches, it will have completely fall, thawed out. All right, I'm just gonna go over here. And make these two sandwiches. Now this will be enough for sandwiches today and tomorrow. You can get four sandwiches out of this. The rest of this I'll put in a smaller container and put in the refrigerator. And again, the apples will not turn dark because they've got, they're coated with the vinegar from the relish. All right, I'm just gonna smooth this out with my hands, fingers. Now you could also put celery in here if you wanted to. Smooth this one out. All right, now. After it's mashed down, good. I'm going to put a little lettuce on it. Now, we've got our two sandwiches and the bread's almost thawed out. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut them in two while the bread is still frozen so it cuts really nice. our iced tea. So there's our lunch for today. Very quick, in about 10 minutes. And plus we've got enough left over to have it again tomorrow night. So that works out to be a very frugal lunch. Works out to be 47 cents for each sandwich. And of course you're getting some really good animal protein in there. And, and of course low fat. So see you next time.